welcome back to West Newton Farms. So, what we've got going on at the moment, we've still got the harvest to finish off. We've got another full load of wheat sitting in the trailer, and we've also got a lot of baling and picking up to do. Now, what we want to do is pick up some of that grass and get that into the cows. We don't need it all as silage, but what we're going to do here is put some of this wheat <coughs> into, well we're going to decide whether we sell it or whether we put it into, and I've just realised that we've got different grains in storage already. So we won't put any in storage, <coughs> what we'll do is we'll sell it off. So we've got Ayrshire's finest grain, we want to figure out where that is. And that's right down the bottom near the biogas plant. So that's alright, we can get there pretty quickly. So we'll go and get this load sold off, but what we're going to need to do is we are eventually going to need to look into a loading wagon of some degree. Now, as you can see, we've also been through and picked up the remainder of the silage bales, <coughs> and we're going to sell them off as well. We've still got at least another paddock to bail up as well. So we'll bail up one of the remaining two paddocks that need to be done and we will pick up the other paddock with a loading wagon because the cows do need grass as feed. At the moment as you can see everything's sitting on low because we've only got one lot of food in for them because we're running these plus TMR for the cows is not an option it's not a 100% production system so we do need to give them all of the available food options so what we'll do is We'll head down here, we'll get this sold off. Then what I believe we'll do is head up to our storage silo up at the second farm. And we will grab some soybeans out of there. What we'll do is give as much soybeans to the chickens as we can because they'll take them and the rest will come down and sell off and that will help us towards buying a decent loading wagon. Like I said, the aim for this game is just to keep and keep our uh, animals going. So we're not too concerned with the arable farming so much, but it does need to be done, obviously, to a keep the farm going and b keep the animals fed. So we're going to try and make as much money as we can just off the animals. a terrible job there of looking a little bit too much weight on the uh, on the voucher didn't want to stop
Only eight. So what we need to do now is head up to our storage farm silo. And the best way to get there is back up the way we came, past our farm and Hawkerite. If I'm not mistaken. But anyway, we'll we'll see you up there. We'll get some soybeans loaded. Feed the chickens and then we will sell off the rest. And from there we'll check out how much we or how much more we need to get a loading wagon. Okay guys, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. Just about to pull into our second farm. Oh, someone's left the gate open. Right, so now we have to kind of figure out where... Okay, so that's where our dump point is. That's obviously where the farm barn is, so we can sell off straw and hay and grass and so on there. What we want to get is soybeans. I don't think this trailer is going to be big enough to hold all of that. No, so we've still got 1300 litres of soybeans left. We'll leave that in there for next time because we probably will do soybeans again at some point soon. Why didn't that just shut? There we go. So we'll get roughly a thousand litres of this put in with the chickens. Now we unfortunately do have to drive through our hedge in order to get in and feed the chickens. But we'll get that done, we'll get the rest down, we'll get that sold off. We will possibly also then look at selling the grass silage we've got sitting on the trailer behind the New Holland and that should give us enough to buy a decent loading wagon. Now we do have quite a few options when it comes to loading wagons. Right, we've got a few options when it comes to buying pretty much everything. We've got way too many mods installed. We want something with decent capacity, and we don't want to be doing too many trips. The second, oh, the other thing we might look into a bit later on is whether we buy a second baler that doesn't have the wrapper attachment on it. Okay, so what we have to do to f in order to feed the chickens, because I believe we have to be in front of... Yeah, I think we've got to be in front of that, so what we actually need to do don't think we're going to fit down this side of it. No. So, we'll drive through a hedge again. <coughs> you know, keep it realistic. So we actually need to come through this side. Alright, 
so they shouldn't take too much. What have they taken? 2,000 meters worth. So that should bump their productivity up a bit. Now we've got 10,000 liters to sell. And we need to find the best price for this. Which is exactly where we just came from. So once again, we'll head down there. So yeah, we've got the second second cow farm just here. I've already set the water up for it, but we won't worry about that until we're on top of the cows that we've already got on the home farm. Okay, right, yeah. we'll, uh, we'll get down, we'll get this sold off and we'll see you back at the farm. So we should be approximately 15 grand from this. Fifteen four seven six. Yep. So there's obviously a decimal point behind each of these values that you can't see but it does add up. Otherwise that would have been just fifteen four seven. 15,470 but anyway let's we'll just park this off to the side here out of the way oh, without running into anything and what we'll do <coughs> is we'll have a look at loading wagons So I want something with a decent capacity within our price range without sending ourselves broke. Well, obviously we do have the silage bales that we could sell off as well. So we'll start looking into mods. 30,000, that's only 16,000 litres, so that's actually not as good a value as that one. Class Quantum, 35,000 litres, $28,000, only requires 90 horsepower to run. I think that's going to be about our best option. So this one's a mower, as well as a loading wagon. So that'd be a good option for a little bit later on. Could actually even be a good option for now. So it's still the same capacity, actually another 500 litres. But the fact that we can mow as we're picking up That's, that's weird. To get more capacity, it's actually cheaper. A lot cheaper. Now, this one will obviously pretend isn't here because, you know, that's a little bit cheaty. I should have removed those mods.
85 horsepower, two and a half meter working width. That's obviously for the mower. 90 horsepower, yep, so I reckon we're actually better off going with this guy. We won't buy it second hand, we'll buy it new. We'll go to its max capacity. Alright, so we're going to have to get down to the shop pretty... Uh, no, I think the shop might actually be shut. Anyway. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get this tractor back up to the farm. We'll jump in the New Holland. We'll get the silage bales sold off. Um, overnight, we'll continue with the harvest. We'll get the harvest done. And... What we'll probably do is bring you guys back in in the morning when we can get down to the shop and pick up our loading wagon because the shop is now closed for the night. Okay guys, we'll see you when we bring you back in. Okay, so I thought you'd I'd bring you guys back in for this just quickly. We've got 18 bales of grass silage here. So we're actually heading to a new part of the map I haven't been to yet. That's out in farms. And we're just gonna get these bales sold off. And figure out where we go from there. Although what we're gonna be doing next is finishing off that wheat harvest. We'll probably work through the night getting not only harvest done but also picking up the straw from that field. Oh, this is not going to work the way I want it to. do here is unstrap and unload no other way other way other way stick them down there and they're gone so that's actually not too bad 22,000 no, $22, there. So yeah, we'll head back to the farm. We'll finish, obviously, the harvest. We'll pick up the straw. We'll also bale up one of the fields that we've got left over. And we'll bring you guys back in the morning. Welcome back. So, what we finished off last night was the baling, got everything done into silage, apart from the field over there, field one I think it is, and we got the harvest finished off as well as the baling. So, what we're going to do is we'll sell off this lot, we don't need it all. Once we've got this sold, we will head down to the store and pick up our loading wagon. So what we want to do is figure out our best place to sell this stuff. So what we've got is straw and grass silage. So our grass silage is better off going to the abandoned farm barn. But we want the straw to go to either storage or out. So what we might do is head to the storage yard barn.
which is the one up at our other farm anyway. So we'll get up there, we'll get all of this sold off. And the plan for the rest of the day is pick up that grass, give as much of it to the cows as we can. Not sure what we'll do with the rest. but we want to also start ploughing some of the fields. And this tractor really does struggle with the weight. So something we're gonna to have to look into soon is upgrading this to a large tractor. Now we'll probably keep this one and what we might do is get rid of the voucher for one that has a front loader attachment. That way we've still got our smaller tractor we can put narrow tires on to do fertilizing or crop work if needed. But we do also have this field that we can do something with, or this paddock that we can do something with. We'll have to figure that out. left that gate open again. We were up here last night so all of the wheat we got from the harvest, well the last of the wheat we got from the harvest all went into our silo. So we want to try and swing this guy around so as we can reverse it in there and get everything loaded out. Swing, 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 that's the way. Alright, so everything from underneath that side sold. Yeah, okay, so that's not too bad. So what we'll do, we'll drop this trailer back off at the farm. Close the gate. So we'll get this dropped off back at the farm. We'll head down, pick up the loading wagon, and we'll get some grass into the cow trough. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys down at the shop. So what we'll do is we'll have a look through at what tractors we can potentially upgrade to. All right, see you guys at the shop. Okay, so there's the, uh, there's the loading wagon. Shop's open, that's good. So we'll get in there get attached. Actually what we might do first is we'll just throw the New Holland into the workshop, get these guys to do a repair on it for us. Actually what was the value of that? It's only valued at 19,000 because it does have 207 hours on it. So we're going to have to look at getting rid of this soon, getting a new tractor. But what we do want to do come into the shop a few leaf blowers haven't actually been in here before hearing protection a 
brushes. Troughs. And chicken feed. Righty okay. So, we want to look at tractors. Now, we're going to want a small to medium sized tractor to replace the Voucher, the A series. A small wooden tractor comes with front three point as well as PDA. Change the colours up. That yeah, looks pretty good in blue. But does it come with front loader? Yes, it does. And that's only a hundred thousand. What's what's the value of our voucher? Only at fifty. So if we sold that off now, we could buy that wind track. Got the Arian as well. It is a lot small horsepower rating. Oh, oh yeah, keep panoramic because I like that. 140 horsepower, which does bring it up above that wind track. And it does come with a front loader. So we could probably even look at that actually. And we might do. Oh, the fence another option. And I do actually like the fence. So I reckon we'll probably end up going with that. But can we stick narrows on it? Yes we can. So that's that's gonna be our next tractor. Don't need GPS. We'll go with the beacon and the narrows. So we're looking at 91 for that. Alright, so we've got to make some money. this back up to the farm we'll get that grass picked up we'll get the first load put into the cows and then we'll look at storage after that okay guys so we're back so what we need to do is get this set up. Rule mower's on. Right, so this is also going to mow at the same time. So we're going to end up with a bit more than what we have on the ground already because the grass has regrown. But we're not too concerned about it. We'll pick up this lot and well, hopefully we can pick up this lot. And the rest is just going to get ploughed into I'm hoping that's picking that up. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Okay, so this is not the loading wagon that we needed. So we're just going to cruise around.
pick up a full load's worth, get that into the cows and actually no, what we'll do is we'll just stop this now. We will get this unloaded, we'll take it back down, we'll sell it off and we will get the one that we are meant to have. So just for future reference guys, this loading wagon does not pick up grass. Hang on, what's, what's that trying to fill? So we'll get this back down to the shop off screen and we will purchase the one we should have had. Okay, so we're back with the class quantum. Now we've just moved all of the silage bales out of here to give ourselves some room. to get the broom or buy the broom to get in there and sweep that up. There we go, that's better. We're in. Now we actually want to come out this way. expect there to be too much grass here. This field was not fertilised, it needed ploughing. <coughs> but anyway, like I said, we'll get a full load, or as much as we can, into the cows. The rest we will pick up and decide what we're going to do with. But we'll get this done on a time lapse. And we'll see you guys when it's done.
Welcome back. We've got all the grass picked up. You will have seen we put the first load into a cow trough. And then we decided that silage is worth quite a bit of money, so the rest of it may as well go into a silage bunker. We'll get this emptied out, compacted, and then we will throw the cover over it, let it ferment. We're not running seasons, so it should happen overnight. And this will get emptied out either in the next episode or the episode after that. So, how's that looking for compaction? Only 6%. probably the heaviest bit of kit we've got so we'll run it over the top Actually, we'll do that off screen. You guys know what's going on. Now, we need to find somewhere to store this. It's going to be out of the way. that right, so that's that done that's that done actually look at moving this TMR mixer out of here I'll store this into this shed for now until we find somewhere we want to put it So we're actually going to end the episode there guys, um, what we're going to do next episode is start ploughing the fields, so what we can do is we can get this down to the plough, so we're going to plough, where are we, that out the way, we're going to plough one, two, three and eight. What I'm thinking is uh, we'll also plow field seven because there's quite a bit to do there. So field two and field seven are going to be our arable fields. Field one we'll probably keep as our grass field except plowed. That way we're getting the extra bonus. Field three possibly, well field three and eight, one and the other. One will be alfalfa, the other one will be clover and that will keep our animals going but for now we've got as much done as we need to get done in today's episode and we shall see you guys next time
thanks for joining in guys hope you liked the video if you did don't forget to subscribe and follow hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time